Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the realization of AND gate using Dayun logic and as well as transistor logics. So, if you are going to use a diode, then that logic is diode logic. I told you in the case of R gate. So, it is diode logic or it may be resistor transistor logic resistor transistor logic or diode logic okay so let us see with diodes diode logic in diode logic the diodes must be connected in reverse direction that means n should be connected at the input side and p should be connected at the output side and the output must be taken between this junction and the vcc so this is the output connection okay output may be something y this is plus 5 volts plus 5 volts this is the load resistance some r or rl so diode d1 and d2 okay this is the realization of diode logic using uh, uh, diode logic for and gate previously previously these two diodes are that means for r operation these two diodes are in forward connection and this resistance is connected to ground the resistance or load resistance is connected between output and ground but here the load resistance is connected between output and plus 5 volts okay so if you take the truth table of this one a b and y so a b let us consider a is equal to low voltage and b is also something low voltage then low low what happens low low that makes the diode that makes the diode on so if any one of the inputs is low diode is having a chance to become on because p is connected to plus 5 volts and n is connected to 0 n is connected to 0 means 5 minus 0 5 volts here also 5 minus 0 5 volts so there is a um, uh, what is that correct voltage required voltage for the diodes to come into on state then y is in output is low because the whatever the current that comes here that is having a path to go to the ground okay and similarly low high low high here also if any one of the diodes is in on definitely the output goes low high low high high this is low when it is high high then diodes d1 and d2 open circuited <coughs> then the current is having a path towards output then output becomes high okay now let us see the same with respect to the transistors so realization of and gate using transistors nothing but resistance transistor logic resistor transistor logic okay these names are very important there are generally diode logic diode transistor logic uh, resistance transistor logic and transistor transistor logic are also there okay ttl rtl dtl so like this we have different different logic families where these families refers to particular set of components we are using in the realizations so rtl is nothing but resistor transistor logic where we are using resistors and transistors to design the circuit for AND gate. So one transistor and this is the second transistor. These two are connected in series and this is the input A. This is the input B. Now the output of this one is connected to the input of another transistor. Okay, if this transistor is not there, then it is acting as NAND gate because the transistor is inverting the output. Okay, 
so this is the output we are taking some y and this is r2 some r1 and this is connected to plus vcc plus vcc is equal to plus 5 volts where is low voltage all these are low voltage devices so t1 and t2 now see a b and y so take a as 0 b as 0 so low means 0 volts high means 5 volts a equal to 0 b equal to 0 both transistors are in open circuited then it is vcc this vcc is applied to the input of next transistor then the transistor comes into on state and output is equal to 0 0 1 0 1 whatever it is whether transistor t1 or t2 whatever it is it comes into off state either t1 or t2 this path from here to here it is open circuited okay if both the transistors are in on state only then only the path is open and the current is having a chance to flow through the t1 and t2 transistors but as any one of the transistors is in open circuited simply it is also the entire network is open circuited then when here to here it is open circuited there exists a plus vcc supply whatever the voltage here completely it appears across this open circuited so this plus vcc is connected as the input for this t3 so what happens simply current the t3 has a chance to switch on then it is on the current flows through this t3 so the entire voltage goes through this one entire current output current will not flow so output simply zero so the same case with this also now coming to this case when both t1 and t2 are in open circuit sorry uh, one means short circuited when these two transistors are acting as short circuited then there is a current flow from VCC through R1 and through the transistors T1 and T2. The current flows from emitter collector to emitter like this. Okay, that means the collector current and the emitter current they may be equal with a small amount of input current. Now, what is the voltage at this particular point here? We may have very low voltage, approximately equal to 0 volts, or VC is that we can say saturation saturation voltage appeared from collector to emitter this particular voltage is not sufficient to make the transistor t3 on okay whatever the voltage appeared across this on transistor is not sufficient to make the transistor t3 on because there is again one more drop across this input so output t3 uh, transistor t3 becomes off when it is in off state open circuited there exists a maximum voltage drop at this particular node which is vcc because the current is not flowing through this one simply vcc is taken as output so output is equal to high which is nothing but one okay so this is rtl and operation rtl and operation if you go to ic's ic's generally we use integrated circuits for these and or and the different types of gates so ic for this and gate is ic7408 this is the four two input and gate four two input and gate four two input and gate okay so ic7408 is an ic which consists of four and gates with each is having two inputs okay uh, if you are taking the ic this is the ic it is having one two three four like this we are having four inputs four and gates these two and this one again these two and this one these two and here is the output these two and here is the output so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So one VCC is there and one ground is there. So totally it may be either 14 or 16 pin IC. 
okay so in this way uh, different ic's are there ic 7411 contains three three input and gates contains three three input and gates okay that means this ic contains three inputs and gate for this and as well as there are three and gates here it is four two input and gates and similarly ic 7421 integrated circuit ic 7421 contains contains two four input and gates two four input and gate two four input and gates okay so as we are going in the next versions of ic's the number of inputs for the and gates also increases it is 0 8 it is 11 and it is 21 so this is about and gates and its operation and realizations using diodes and as well as transistors thank you